I've made it, guys. I've gone clear. My mum, listen, listen. <laughs> Quit your job. We ain't got to suffer no more. Yes, that's right. I made it onto a Reddit thread. Specifically, this Reddit thread. But I'll address that later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are good. Hope you are well. Pick me's, pick me girls, pick me -shers. They exist. I've seen them. I've heard them. Heck, I've been them. But the way the word has been flung out, <laughs> one must wonder, have we overused, misused and abused the term? Have we just weaponized it in a way to shut down an argument that opposes your view and defends the people or the group you're trying to villainize. Hmm. Basically, my question is, is she a pick me or is she just disagreeing with you? So I'm going to read the definition of a pick me girl out. And obviously I've gone to my source, the Urban Dictionary. So let me read this out. A pick me girl is a girl who goes out of their way to impress boys and make them seem that they're not like other girls, AKA an N-log, if you've heard that term. Kind of like a simp, but for girls, otherwise known as internalized misogyny, not the easiest to explain, but when you see one, you'll know she's one for sure. Usually does this to be accepted by boys and be considered one of the good ones. If you say one of these things, congratulations, nobody likes you. <laughs> Straight from the Urban Dictionary. So we've all come across a pick me girl. We've all been a pick me girl to some extent, maybe when we're younger. So we, we are aware of what they are. You might call them not like other girls, N-logs or pick me girls, kind of the same thing. Pick me-ism, pick me girls, is definitely rooted in internalized misogyny. This idea that like, I'm not like those girls because being like those girls or being having these sorts of feminine traits is a bad thing. But I'd go as far as to saying like, in a psychological kind of viewpoint, what links pick me's to the pick me accusers is this desire to be accepted and validated by the group that you are trying to impress. So the pick me's are trying to impress the men and the pick me accusers, I would argue, are trying to get validation from that group of, I don't know what they might be, like people that hate men or people that hate pick me's, whatever, that you're still trying to get validation and acceptance. So there's a link. So if you accuse me of being a pick me, I would take your pick me accusation, I would Uno, flip it and reverse it, friggin' man and yeah. And I would say, you're the pick me. <laughs> because you, as much as you're accusing me of wanting to be accepted by men, you also want to be accepted by the group that you've created to then go in and call me a pick me. So, hmm, I'll take that. <laughs> if we're gonna dig a little bit deeper by calling out the pick me and her traits, you're essentially saying that you're not like her. See where I'm going. You're not like other girls which in turn makes you an N-log slash a pick me. So who is the pick me now? Hmm? Which brings me to a key point, which is that we all want to be picked. So pick me, choose me, love me. We're all pick me's to an extent and not necessarily in a romantic, like looking for a romantic partner type of situation, but we are all pick me's to some degree in some relationships, whether it be friendship, employers, romantic, parents, to an extent we all exhibit pick me tendencies. I've said this and I've said it so many times in so many of my videos that one of the most natural and I think, I think strongest human desires is that desire to be loved, that desire to be accepted, that desire to like assimilate and have that community. That is like a natural thing as humans, we are not supposed to be alone. So we do things all the time to achieve this. Sometimes it's unhealthy, which I think is where the pick me trope kind of comes from. But sometimes it's just small things that we do to please someone else so that they in turn like us or like us more or, or think of us more highly. Example being moving your schedule around to accommodate someone else's schedule. Bringing up a topic that you already somehow know that person is interested in so that the conversation flows better and they leave with a good impression of you. Asking your friend what they're wearing to an event so that you can match their vibe and in turn assimilate with them. I talk about this a bit in the in my video titled The Influence of the Influencer. Um, so check it out, I'll leave it in the description below. So yeah, I'm sorry, but we all exhibit pick me behavior. But interestingly, it's only called out in women when it is seen to be for the sole goal of attracting a man or pleasing a man. Which brings me nice, oh, look at me with all the segues. It brings me nicely into like a key issue that I think sort of um, sits under this or underpins this, which is why 
women are labelled pickneys to the degree that they are today, not in general, because I know pickneyism is a problem, but to the degree that they are today. And I'd even say oppositely, why a lot of men nowadays are mislabeled as simps, and that is the gender wars. Guys, there is a gender war happening right now. Like, it is getting ridiculous. Um, let me know if you want me to actually do a whole video on that because it's in the drafts, everything's in the drafts. There's a lot of problems with this, 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 this battle that we're having, men and women. For example, when it pertains to this pick-me-ism, calling people, misusing the label pick-me, it's like me, a woman, being nice or sticking up for other women, it's like, yeah, it's empowerment, oh my gosh, sisterhood. Doing the same for a man, regardless of what the situation is, what the, what's happened, it could be exactly the same scenario, but I'm, it happens to be a man, all of a sudden, you're mislabeled at pick-me. Same way nowadays men just sticking up for women, just, you know, not not doing brokered and actually standing up for what's right. They're mislabeled simps. It's the same thing. And it comes down to this gender war thing that we're having right now, especially on social media and a lot in real life, which is getting out of hand. And interestingly, although pick me girls are seen as having internalized misogyny, the group of women that are then calling out the pick me girls, or I would say bullying the pick me girls, or embarrassing the pick me girls to an extent, are they not also being misogynistic? So it is really and truly the hypocrisy for me. I hope and I think that the pendulum is starting to swing back and people are seeing how out of hand this like man versus woman, men are trash, women are trash kind of thing, how ridiculous and how far it's going. And I think the pendulum is starting to swing back the other way. Like funnily enough, as I was scripting this video this week, I listened to like multiple podcasts and just so happened that the um, different people were talking about this. I think I was listening to the Receipts podcast and they were talking about this whole like, um, they talked about pick me girls as well and how it's been mislabeled and also like men versus women and not to hate men and not to hate women, blah, blah, blah. They talked about that and then there's another podcast I was listening to, I cannot remember what it was, but again, they were kind of getting annoyed with how much people are being labeled pick or mislabeled pick me. So hopefully it's a sign that things are starting to like, go back to, you know, the real, let's relax. <laughs> so why does it work? I think, my theory, I always have a theory. My theory is that labeling someone a pick me or even a simp or saying things like, she won't sleep with you, bro. Those are very um, smart methods because what they do is that they incite embarrassment and embarrassment and shame is one of those things that will make you stop in your tracks. If I'm arguing with someone on Twitter, which I never would, but if I was, and then I happen to be defending a man and then multiple people in my reply saying, did he pick you? Have you been picked? And I'm just like, oh. You need a queen. Even if I know I'm not doing it to be a pick me, I'm now embarrassed and I'm now full of shame. And it's like, the more I try to argue against it, the more I'm gonna sound like, it's like when someone says, oh, you're angry. It's like, I'm not angry. It's like, mm, you sound angry, bro. Embarrassment, shame will stop you in your tracks and that's why it's such an effective weapon. That's why I feel like it's been weaponized. Have you ever been doing something slightly silly and someone says, at your big age, I'm gonna exit right there. So yeah, I believe the pick me label has gone to a point now where it's been weaponized as a way of shutting down an argument that for whatever reason, valid or not, is defending men or a simp is defending women. So to address uh, the, <laughs> the Reddit thread, which uh, all my friends laughed at me because I was uh, called pick me of the week. One of the comments I saw in that thread was um, somebody saying that I'd recently done a video about Kevin Samuels, right? And I had angered a lot of men, which is true. And therefore the video I did a couple of videos after that, which was called Men Are Trash and So Are We, in which I was calling out a lot of the things that we as women, I think do that can be a bit wrong. Um, their theory was that I created that video to pander to the men that I had hurt in the Kevin Samuels video. But to that, I say it's very possible for me to say something like Kevin Samuels is a misogynist. And it's also possible for me to say that women are somewhat entitled. Two things can be true at the same time. And this is one of the biggest issues I have is that we try to put ourselves in binary boxes instead of being a what? A spectrum thinker. I did a video about this. It's right here and it's also in the description. Let me know what you think because it's getting a bit ridiculous. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.